But you did it in a form. The limit of square root of x over 1 plus e to the x as x approaches infinity. Now, as x approaches in infinity, the numerator square root of x also approaches infinity. If you recall, the graph of square root of x looks like this. So as x increases, square root of x also increases. Now, in the denominator, we have 1 plus e to the x. What is the graph of e to the x? This is e to the x. So as x increases, e to the x also increases without bound. So the, both the numerator and the denominator approaches infinity as x approaches infinity. So we have an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. In this case, L'Hopital rule applies. L'Hopital rule applies. So let's go ahead and find the limit as x approaches infinity. We need to take the derivative of the numerator divided by the derivative of the denominator. What is the derivative of square root of x? Now, if you recall, square root of x is the same as x to the 1 half. Taking the derivative of x to the 1 half, this will be Take the power, that's 1 half, x to the 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half, which is the same as 1 half, 1 over 2, x to the 1 half. And that's the same as 1 over 2 square root of x. So the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x divided by the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of one is zero. The derivative of constant is always zero. Plus the derivative of e to the x. The derivative of e to the x is the same, e to the x. Now rewriting this, we will get the limit as x approaches infinity of one over two square root of x e to the x. Now, let's see, we have 1 divided by 2 square root of x e to the x. We already know square root of x approaches infinity as x approaches infinity, and so does e to the x. So that means 1 over the limit of 1 over 2 square root of x e to the x is equal to 0. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.